yesterday around four o'clock after closing our normal uh, work i don't stay here my doctor too we don't have accommodation so we normally stay we live in accra but we commit every day to work and go so after closing i realized that uh, i have a call from some of my staff telling me that uh, there was issues of a uh, lantern issue and then about two three policemen were being beaten up nearly linked and then um, their cars were got burned and then their machine or their guns were taken away from them for a matter of the, there was a police reinforcement a, re, a military reinforcement to the community actually the issue the whole issue didn't happen here in no boom okay it happened a nearby community called Donfasi. okay and then um, uh, the home pharmacy is also closer to one of our chief's compound called Kofi Kui. That is where the, issue, the whole issue happened. I learned there was a lantern issue between the chiefs of uh, the Gang people, I mean, the community, and then some Eastern regional chiefs of Waterfield. They sold a parcel of land to somebody, and maybe due, with, due to that lantern issues, and uh, they were asked, they asked, the issue is in the court. Okay. Then they asked one or uh, two military men to come and take care of this facility, uh, the land. Then uh, they also, the gang, uh, I mean, the, the community, uh, Asafaches or whatever, they have a meeting to also, I mean, protest, I mean, taking their land. Then after the meeting, I don't know what happened, uh, they attacked the military. Who are, who are taking care of the the land and then they beat up the police and the military torn all their I mean camouflage and then taking away their I mean machine guns so that was what the information that was broken yesterday then uh, when I called my staff yesterday they told me that they were doing well because nobody was being affected but early this morning around uh, two to three uh, three to four o'clock thereabout. I had a call. Then the information was that uh, uh, there, there was a military presence, heavy military presen presence in the community, picking up every able man and woman. Okay. Any so, reason why they were picking them up? The reason was that uh, the military said they are here uh, until they got the missing guns. They are not leaving. And then the issue too is that. My staff who were affected were those who were not who are not staying in the staff bungalows. Our our staff bungalow is not, is not enough, okay. and some has to rent outside. So those who were renting in the community, they were those who were brutally affected. Yeah, about 26 okay. who are staying outside the uh, I mean the facility bungalows. Then most of them, when they ask and they said their staff help staff, they were. They were allowed to go, but it got to a time that it's like everybody in the community were being turned to be a hair staff. When they ask anybody, they say they are hair staff. Okay. So it comes to a time they don't know who was really a hair staff or something. So they pick up everybody, including teachers and water food. So early this morning, I went to the Gansa Municipal and then I talked to the, uh, the Municipal PRO, uh, Mr. Ablakwa, and then he gave me the WO number. So I called him, he told me that he was in his way to this place. So when he got there, I, he said I should give me the names. So after giving him the names of my staff, they were released. 